Jack is working. You can see that he's carrying bricks from the big pile in front of his house. He's taking them to his backyard. Jack and his father are going to build an outdoor fireplace. But they'll need many more bricks than these. Jack and father will have much work to do before they can build the fireplace. Jack is working alone now. Father has gone to get a helper to make their work easier. He should be back soon. There he is now. But he's alone. Didn't father get the helper? Yes, he did. He got two helpers. A long, wide board and a sturdy wheelbarrow. We'll see how they'll help make the work easier. Soon the wheelbarrow is filled with bricks. Now we'll see what good helpers we have. You couldn't lift this many bricks by yourself. But look here. See the long handles? You can pull up on them and lift one end of the wheelbarrow. You're lifting up the bricks, too. And it isn't much work. The wheelbarrow makes it easier to lift the bricks because of the way it's made. The long handles. The place for the bricks. And the wheel touching the ground. The wheelbarrow is a kind of lever. Levers help make work easier. And see how easy it is to move the load of bricks along. It's easier to roll something along than to drag it along. Yes, the wheelbarrow is a good helper. Wait a minute. Now our helper, the wheelbarrow, will need help. How can we lift the wheelbarrow with all the bricks in it up the steps? You'll see. The board. How will the board help? Watch. You still have to use your muscles. But rolling the wheelbarrow up the board is easier than lifting it up the steps. When a board is used this way, we call it an inclined plane. Yes, the board and the wheelbarrow really do make work easier. What unusual helpers we have, thinks Jack. A board and a wheelbarrow. Did you ever think about how many different helpers people use to make work easier? Down the street, a new house is being built. Let's see if we can find the helpers the men are using. A wheelbarrow helps here, and so does a board. What else are the men using to make work easier? What does the carpenter use? A nail and a hammer. Think how much work it would be for the carpenter to push a nail into the board without something like a hammer to help him. Do you see how this saw makes work easier? What about this plane? And this drill? This pulley helps, doesn't it? There are so many tools that make work easier for us. And they help us do many things we couldn't do with our hands alone. But are there any other ways we can make our work easier? Let's think. What makes the clothes move about? Why, the wind. We know that. The wind can make things move. For instance, have you ever seen a windmill on a farm? At the bottom, there's a pump. Pumping water by hand is hard work. Especially when you have to fill such a big tank. Now the wind is blowing. Let's connect the windmill to the pump.
lifting this stick unlocks the windmill. Now the wind is doing the work. We don't need the pump handle as long as the wind is blowing. People have invented many interesting ways to help make work easier. Have you ever wondered what makes a sailboat go? The wind pushes against the sail and moves the boat. So you see, we can use the wind to do work for us. We can use other things to work for us too. Have you ever thought about the work you do when you play with toys? Is there anything that will do this work for us? Let's find out. First, we'll put the toy here. Then we'll put a water wheel here and connect it to the toy. Now we'll turn on the hose. See, the water is turning the wheel, and it's working the toy. We've put running water to work for us. Of course, there isn't very much water here, and it isn't doing very much work. But where we have a whole river, we can use it to turn big water wheels that will do a great deal of work. We often place water wheels at falls. Much water can do much work, just as a little water can do a little work. But Jack and Father have a little work to do themselves. Listen, a train. Does it help make our work easier? What makes the train go? Steam. Steam inside the engine. When you heat a kettle of water, hot steam inside the kettle makes the cover go up and down. Hot steam inside the railroad engine makes the wheels turn, and that makes the train go. Engines help us do more work than we can do by ourselves. This is a diesel engine. It doesn't use steam, it uses oil to make it go. This kind of engine is called a motor. Other motors run on gasoline. Automobiles use gasoline motors to make them go. Many kinds of engines and motors work for us. They make our work easier. They do work that's too hard for us. They even carry us around. So you see, there are many helpers all around that we use to make our work easier. We've seen only a few of them, but there are many more. Of course, there is some work we have to do ourselves. That takes muscle power. But there are many machines and tools that help us make our work easier. How many can you think of?